Hello subscribers and new watchers. Um, I've got a few minutes. I decided let's go ahead and do a pick a card for the month of April. So I've shuffled the deck. I'm going to cut it in front of you. This is something I do with all of my videos in case you're not familiar with my reads. I've cut it. I'm going to pull three cards for you. Okay. So I'm just pulling from the top. And if you're not familiar with a pick a card, we've got three cards. You can either choose the card that calls to you the most, and then you'll kind of like ignore the rest of the readings except for the card that you chose. You can choose two cards, or you can try to choose all three cards, okay? So I'm going to be quiet for a few seconds and let you choose your card, and then we'll start the reading. Okay, did you choose your card? Now, this card is screaming he wants to go first. So we're going to just read him first and then we'll read the other ones, okay? If you chose this card, yay. If not, let's hold on. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles, he's gone through one all the way up to ten, past the page, and he's now the Knight. He's moving up in his experience, right? Pentacles are associated with abundance, with money, with um, finances, so your job. You might have started a job recently where you were at the bottom and now you're moving up. This is wonderful. Congratulations. It could be you're moving up with your finances, all right? It could be anything along this line. Maybe you're moving into a new relationship, a new stage of your relationship. But the night is here to tell you. And we're going to look at the symbolism of the card, okay? Right now, as we stand right now, and this is something I have all of my clients are complaining about from the March, actually from February, March, and probably going into April. Life sucks. I mean, seriously, anything that can possibly hit you upside the head has been thrown at you, hasn't it? With the pentacles. Your relationships, you're not understanding each other. That's really major Mercury retrograde. Finally, he's gone direct. It should fix a little bit, but there's all of like the healing that needs to be done regarding communication. Same thing with um, finances. You probably thought you were saving. You probably thought you were doing really well. And then all of a sudden something comes and smacks you upside the head. This horrible emergency. And now you're like, I have no nest egg. Okay. The night, however... Because he's gone through one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, and page, he knows that this is part of life. He knows that sometimes life is crappy, sometimes there's downs, but he can get right back up. All right. So if you chose this card, no matter what's happening in your life right now, no matter how crappy and horrible it is, and no matter how much you want to go bury yourself and hide, it will get better. It's going to take a little while and it's going to be massively hard work for you, okay? But you know how to get through this. Don't let life upset you. Don't let life um, pull you down. I mean, look at this knight on his big, huge, beautiful black horse. He is up there on his high horse, okay? He knows how to get through this. And he's got the horse to help him. You know how to get through this. You've got so much strength that you're not even aware of. You don't even know how to tap into it. You don't know where it's at, but it's there waiting for you. All right? Okay. Now, next card. If you chose this card, this is what your reading has in store for you. <sighs> okay. The Five of Pentacles. This card massively sucks. You've made some really bad decisions, and they're coming back, and they're biting you in the butt now. You are probably, the card is showing a homeless person, right? A mom and her child. The child is handicapped. It's, he's ill. They have no home. They're trying to find refugee, refuge in a church. They're trying to find some place to spend the cold winter night, right? She probably made some really bad decisions. And now they're coming to bite her in the butt. The good thing is the number five card is the worst of the worst. It's the darkest of the dark. All right. So in the month of March... Probably, again, with that damn Mercury retrograde. Things have been horrible for you, and you feel like you're... It's just better that you just go hide, right? Just dig my grave right now and let me fall in there and just leave me alone. You're allowed to feel that. 
Do not wallow in that. Okay, you're allowed to have venting parties, you're allowed to have pity parties, you're allowed to scream and yell and curse. It doesn't make you any less spiritual, it doesn't do anything really for you, it lets that crap out, and it's necessary to get that crap out, okay? But, and this is a huge but, give yourself 10 minutes to be venting, give yourself 15 minutes for your pity party, and then you look for your way out. And then you kind of do what this knight is doing, right? He climbs up there on that horse and he looks for a way out. He looks for a way to get out of the situation he's in. This card is the same thing. It's the darkest part of the storm. The sky will clear up in a few minutes. Sorry, I hit the phone. Um, the sun is going to be dawning in a few minutes. It might take a little while for you guys, but it will be coming. How are you going to get out of this? All right. Don't wallow in negative energies for more than just a few minutes to get them out. You are strong, capable people of doing whatever you want with your life. Show everybody that. Okay? All right. Second, or third card. We have, look at this one. We've got the Nine of Wands. Now, I really love that this card is here with these ones because I bet you guys that chose this card, you kind of thought, oh, maybe one of these two, but then you went with this. This card is showing exactly what I've said. He's ready to fight. He's ready to stand his ground. He's done with the pity party. He's found his way to get out and he's going to fight. All right. The same thing with you guys. The month of April, the month of February, the month of March has knocked you on your butt. And you are sick and tired of it. Hopefully, while you've been sitting on your butt, you've been resting. If not, take a few minutes. Rest. Gather your strength. Make sure you're strong because it's time to fight. And get yourself out of these issues and back to where you want to be. Okay? Now, he, this Nine of Wands guy, right? He has nine different options of fighting his way back to the top of fighting his way back to where he wants to be. You might have financial issues. You might have um, most likely financial issues, relationship issues, uh, communication issues, all of this kind of stuff, especially with that Mercury retrograde that seems to knock everybody on their butt this time around. You know how to fix these things. You know how to change these things. Don't let the stress of your day-to-day -day keep you from doing that. All right, so for the few of you, okay, the few of you that chose all three cards, it's been crappy, but keep your eyes on the future, okay? Don't turn around and look that way. You're not going that way anymore. That's all done, passed over, gone, bye-bye. Into the future, how can you fix things? If you have to, grab a notebook and your pen and pencil, whatever, your phone, whatever, and start planning out how you can start changing, how you can start fixing these things, because it is very possible. We are coming out of winter into spring. There's going to have, there's going to be a lot of new growth. We're going to have like flowers and trees budding and all of that kind of stuff. This is your chance to use that same energy to grow what you want to grow. And every single one of you, same thing happens. We're in spring now. We're going to be having beautiful flowers growing. Grass is coming back to life. Trees are coming back to life. You guys can come back to life too. All right? Okay. So, your month of April. You've gone through the trenches. It's time to shake yourself off and build what you want to build. Grow what you want to grow. All right? Thank you so much for letting me read for you guys. This was just a general reading. If you want your very own reading, there's going to be information down below of how you can get that. Thank you again for letting me read for you. It's been an honor. Till next time. Bye.